Nate, what do you get when you add bacon, beef, macaroni and cheese, and a pretzel bun all into one delicious component? Something delicious? What do you get when, when you make all these trees? Eating as much as an elephant eats. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful day, on this beautiful new edition set. But come back over here, we gotta get through this intro. Guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make, I said it a second ago, a barbecue bacon macaroni and cheese smash burger. Come on. Holy Come on. freaking cow. Guys, it's gonna be unbelievable, legendary. I'm gonna show you a really cool technique I came up with last night. It's never been done before. <laughs> And we're gonna see if it works. <laughs> and I don't know if it's going to. But guys, before we jump into that, let's be sure to like and subscribe. Click the bell, get the notification, because who doesn't wanna hang out with me? Please hang you out with me. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Bing, bing. All right, guys, uh, shall we do this? Let's do it. Let's do it. it. Just gonna do it. Just gonna do it. No, I'm serious. Let's do it. Let's do it on Friday. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna get started. First things first, oh, you gotta go to our, right. our dear friend, Mr. Wright, bacon. The right Mr. stuff. Ow. The right bacon. <sighs> okay. Come on over here, guys. I've, we're gonna be working on our Blackstone 36 inch Love air fryer unit. combo. It's kind of my go-to. Guys, we're gonna be doing um, two or three pieces of bacon and we're gonna get this cooking and move on to our beef patties. Are we looking to render out this fat? Is that what's like the goal here? Well, the goal here is to cook the bacon, get the fat and cook the beef in the fat. So if rendering it out is what you're talking about and it's all that, then yeah. Glad we clarified. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for! These aren't the droids you're looking for. Wait. Did you. Would you. What'd you get on his ear? Dang it. We only need this many this pieces of bacon. Yeah, We're good. We're we good. just needed the fat from four. We only needed two pieces. <laughs> I'm here for you. Hey guys, our bacon is now. Almost done. We're gonna slide this <laughs> Almost. <one. laughs> That's true because it was done a few minutes oh, ago. Shut up! Technically. Hey, these two actually still need to cook a little bit. Apparently it was cooler over here. I feel like you sabotaged me intentionally. What's going on here, Ethan? Whose side are you on? Huh? Looking like Cousin It over here. <laughs> I think you should keep on keeping on. Okay, let's just keep, keep on. Gotta keep pushing. <laughs> keep on keeping on, man. And you gotta keep on keeping on. Life's a garden, dig it? You make it work for you. You never give up, man. That's my philosophy. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two okay. off. Okay, all right. Side. Let's get to our beef. Don't look at this. Oh, just, 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 just. Uh, we're doing a smash burger. We are. So, so we're talking I, like 90 seconds. Yeah, so done. this is gonna be a really fast one. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit more beef than normal. I'm not gonna go super super duper duper flat <laughs> how many dupers duper duper two super, dupers super duper Ooper. so uh what we have here is 80 20 beef this is um nate and i have been saying this for years i'm just kidding nate's the one who's been saying it i just <laughs> took away uh what he says but it's 80 20 is the way to go yeah it's got um just enough fat in it that it doesn't uh get dry and then it's not too it's greasy it's a really juicy burger not a grease so burger. let's take our loosely packed okay. ball of beef and let you know, all of glory. I'm you gonna know. I'm gonna turn my heat up Ooh, a little you know, bit over let's here. Let's let that come up. Yeah. Let's let that come get up. Get that screaming hot a yeah. little bit. Yeah. All right. But we can work on your on my genius wife. idea. Yeah, we can. I think I think it's gonna be gold. I know it's gonna be gold. Uh, you know why I know it's gonna be gold? Because you came up with it. Yes. <laughs> I also just burnt the bacon, so if that <laughs> leads into anything, in the... <laughs> <laughs> so guys, for this one, we are gonna be using some delicious. Craft macaroni and cheese. Now here's the thing. Magic I started taking on a lot of shade when I got here to the house. No. Yes, your I wife didn't give started. You shade. Your I wife was I knocking didn't... at me. You knocked me. I didn't knock you. Your boys, your three boys. No, they his don't. His boys have no idea what craft macaroni and cheese is. No. 
because I make it myself. That's nuts. Here, look, look, here's the deal. You don't have to use Kraft macaroni and cheese. You could use any macaroni and cheese that you have as a leftover. This is gonna be fun. We've got our egg ring here. Oh, show me this little bad boy. Look at this, guys. If you guys Love haven't these. picked these up, these are awesome silicone egg rings. Uh, these are fantastic on the griddle top. So are we building on the griddle top? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go over here. Uh -huh. Let's go over here. So first, we're going to set. Okay. <laughs> first, you grab your gram. Then <laughs> you get your mala. First, you take the gram. You stick the chocolate on the gram. Um, so wait, we're gonna I, I, spoon... wait, cheese. Let's do cheese bottom. No, uh, dude, you're right? ruining the Sorry, fact. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help. I was just gonna build up to it, but now that you've ruined it. So in my mind, I want this to kind of be a cheese crisp underneath. So yeah. we're gonna be putting down some shredded cheese. That we shredded ourselves. That we pre-shredded ourselves, obviously. And this is going to crisp up yep. to create the chip that I'm looking for. And then it's also going to hold my macaroni and cheese kind of together, Ideally. somewhat like as a patty. In a perfect world. In a per in theory, this is what's gonna happen. So, let's see how we do here. Um, now we're gonna just spoon some of this in. Now you don't wanna go, whoa, whoa, get back in there, fella. I'm not wanting to go too, too thick. Okay. But I do wanna create this uh, glorious macaroni and cheese yeah. patty. I think this is gonna work, bro. I have, a, I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling that this is gonna work. Ethan, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's gonna work. It's totally gonna work, because I'm a genius. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. So this is not gonna take, it's not gonna take long, but let's go ahead and throw our beef. I'm with you. Beef bowl down. I'm gonna set this guy right there. Now, I didn't bring out any parchment paper. Oh, so here we go. Let's. I'm gonna help you. Now, I'm gonna, <laughs> for safety's sake, Oh, good hack right there. Here we go. A little spray on there. A little spray. Uh, that's our new smasher. It's part of the puppy. Oh! You know what? Yep. No, we're good. Yep. We're good. We're good. Never, never a doubt. See? Yeah. It's perfect. I had it under control the entire time. I meant to bring out uh, some parchment paper, but I forgot. In all honesty, there's nothing wrong with that. No. Nothing no. wrong with that. But I am going to add a little bit of whiskey burger seasoning to it because... I love, just a must. I love some whiskey burger. So this is not gonna take long. And our cheese, we, I'm, we peek? I'm gonna peek. Hold on, you stay there, I'm reaching over. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna give it another I think. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds. Okay. Um, our burger is gonna be cruising along here pretty quick. Um while that's going, yep. I'm gonna do this fast because we got things happening over here. You got a cool bun. We've got a very special bun today, guys. Um, usually we just use like a small Martin's roll or something like that. I thought today, why not take this into an elevated burger? Look at you elevating. With, with our pretzel bun. That's fun. Yeah. Do you think this needs toasting? I definitely think it needs okay, toasting. Okay, well let's toast it up. And bacon fat. Yeah, oh, of course. Oh, so, yeah. So, gonna get a little bit of that bacon fat. Put that right there, get a little bit of this bacon fat. Boom. Put it right there. I think our macaroni and cheese is- Yeah, are we there? I think our cheese is- Are not... we flipping? No, I don't think we can flip. No? What no. if we did more cheese on the top and did a flip? Oh, whoa. I know. Okay. I know. Okay, let's, let's give it a shot. It's not like I haven't already burnt something today, so. Oh, wow, all right. I'm feeling okay. good about this, bud. All right. Well, I'm glad you're feeling good about it. Let's see what we can do here. Oh. Man, I don't know if we need to get rid of this egg ring, though. Okay. I think the egg ring is our integrity holder here. I don't know. It looks pretty good. Oh, wow. you beautiful little guy. I'm going to set it aside. Okay. I'm going right. to set it aside. I'm going to set it aside. I don't you know what we could I, do? I don't want to mess with We too could much dome here. that and melt the cheese over the top so it's too gooey. I like that. Hey, Ethan. I'm, you're distracting me. I'm trying to Sorry. over here. Sorry. I'm going to get my flip. You with me, buddy? <laughs> yes, I'm with you. All right. There we go. Gorgeous. Now, again, I said I didn't want to press this too much. I didn't want just like a super, super tiny, tiny right. uh, smash burger. I wanted it to be maybe it, it, between like a diner burger and a steak kind of house burger. So just yeah. a, a thicker burger. That's what I'm going to do there. I like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this side a little bit of seasoning loving. Because you know me. I'm all about that seasoning. Oh, yeah. And um, look, I love the dome idea. Oh, wait, good. Oh, if you guys haven't seen that yet, that's a prep cart. You guys can find that at Walmart, and it is a game changer on the set. Quite magical. Hey, oh, speaking great. of magic, 
I'm gonna check my buns here. Oh, we got a few more minutes. All right. All right. I'm gonna set those actually right over here. I'm gonna bring this guy right there. Grab a little bit of this water. I like your little move. You're kind of insulating the cheese with the spatula. Yeah. That's a pro move right there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, I do this all the time. Yeah. I'm a pro, obviously. With move. Uh, 60 seconds, we'll be right back. Sounds good. Let's ring it and bring it. Ring it and bring it, which we haven't rung it enough. No, we have not. Let's go ahead and pull our bacon off. We're at that point. Give it a nice rough chop. You don't want to be like bacon bits. These are just like larger pieces that we're going to somewhat assemble a little easier. It's going to give it some texture. Just, just felt like a fun idea to me. Now our bread, ooh yes, Beauty. is nice and toasted. Alrighty. Toasted to perfection. Boys, come on back Man, over that here. That bun's cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's assemble. All right. Here we go. Okay. Are okay. You sure? All right. Oh, show me what you're working with, because this. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> Sweet baby rays, guys. We're going to add this to the bottom of our burger. Then we are going to grab our, oh. Oh, beauty. Got a little barbecue sauce running off the side there. She's a beaut clock. She's a beaut, beaut clock is a beaut. <laughs> Wait, are we doing cheese first or burger first? I want to, can I, I'm going to get in close up because I want to see this melty goodness. When you unleash this beast. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, okay. Uh, Nate has requested that I do the macaroni and cheese on the bottom. I think it's a fun thing. Okay, well then let's give it a shot. Boys, okay. we're going to go right over the Magical. top here. Oh, look at this. Show me. Oh, this? We, come we, on. We got some crispy cheese going on here. Oh, geez. Hold on. I'm going to need. I'm you gonna... have outdone yourself. <laughs> what can I say? You might be a genius. I might be, or I might be a giant idiot. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, no. That's all right. Hold work on. It. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Spatula working here. Spatula work. Spatula oh, that work. cheese skirt. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So it didn't quite hold, but... I am not upset. Oh no, we got a slider here. Well, no, it, that's good. It is cheesy. That is, it ain't easy being that cheesy. No. It's not easy being cheesy. I... What's next, boys? Let's beef. Do, let's do the beef patty. Then, didn't you have something else you wanted to add to this? Yes. Oh, um, jalapenos. Jalapenos. Dude, I... your portions are stunning. What can I say? What can I say? What way? What, where do you get, uh, we got our bacon here. Yeah. So let's do, let's do bacon. Okay. Now you could have left this as strips, which would have been totally fine. Um, but I thought, I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the macaroni and cheese yet. So I wanted to make sure I had something pliable. Sometimes and, too, when you have a big strip, you take a bite. And, and then, then you just... get all the strip yeah. in one bite. And yeah. then you're ruined. I agree. Yeah, so. I concur. Oh, well, thank goodness. Why well, do not concur? So we got a mound. And then we're gonna build some jalapenos right up top here. Man, this is a tower of power right here, okay? Yes. A tower of power. We've never said that before Dang. in reference to my food. Well, because it's never been. A tower of power. But now it is? I think I think so. It's the Colossus of Clout. <laughs> Colossus of Clout! The Colossus of Clout! Okay, and then let, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little more barbecue sauce oh, on my crown. Of course crown. you are. <laughs> of course. Of course I am. Of course I am. Be bad to the bone. Thank you, Tyrone. Of course I am. You don't even need to spread this. I'm just gonna get that guy. CJ, I'm. Oh, let's just set I'm it down. I'm excited about this. Let's just set her down. Hey yo. Oh. Oh, you My beaut. goodness. Listen. <laughs> this. What did, what did we decide to call this again? This is the mac and cheese barbecue. Barbecue bacon mac and cheese smash burger. I think is what I called it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Get get a little close, boys. You can see some juice from the burger. It's super, super moist in there. We got cheese Dang. dripping down the sides. Uh, guys, I gotta cut it. Got it. Cut it out. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, cut it out. <laughs> Man. Wow, yeah. dude, that's a good one. It's real good. All right, so hopefully we're gonna get the desired effect inside of some cheesy macaroni. Melty. Melty goodness. bacon -y goodness. Yep, all right. You're so gentle with your well, burger cutting. it's because I don't like to mess up my bun. Okay. Let's, uh, oh. let's open oh. her up. Oh. Let's see what we got here, boys. Oh, geez. 
Layers. Layers upon layers. Oh man, you can see the cheese skirt. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I did it again. My God, he's done. By Jove, I've done it. <laughs> By George, he's got it. By George, he's got it. Um, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. This is gonna be a messy burger. Yeah, but there's just no way around point. this. Jalapenos, bacon, barbecue sauce, burger, cheese, barbecue sauce. Come on. Okay. Come on. And the words of our favorite OG. Let's, Let's give it a try. <laughs> like my old grandpappy used to say. Oh, Pappy used to say. Whoa. <laughs> That's what he said? Uh huh. That's what he would have said. Show me this. Yeah, messy is good. Nate, you are going to be so happy that I'm your friend. How is the uh, mac and cheese holding up? It's incredible. Yeah. The, this is seriously awesome. <laughs> this rivals the bandito. Whoa. You could have put crunchy chili cheese Fritos in the mac and cheese. I didn't want to just go overboard. That's true. Because it's That's really, true. really good. That's true. Guys, it's got... That's a fun one. He like heat from the jalapenos. Yep. Sweet from the barbecue sauce. The savory from the beef and the bacon. Dude, it's literally hitting every single palate. It's just all my palates are just <laughs> dancing. Dancing. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Down the headlights on the highway. Tony Danza. Oh, that's right. You can't ever unhear that. <laughs> so for those at home that heard it now, yeah, you're never going to hear the song any other way ever again. No. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen a good Tony Danza comment. <laughs> Were we looking for them? I don't know. I kind of feel like I wish but I'd seen one already. Speaking of comments, what? I think we're there. Are we there? E, are we there? Wait a minute. No, we're, there. we're totally there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Let's start this off the right way with a, a preemptive ring. A preemptive ring. Yeah. So here we go. Um, this comes from James. Oh, this is great. Yeah? He says, CJ is correct. Do you know what he was correct about? Oh, brother. In correcting you. Fruit. I have a bachelor's of science in agriculture science with an emphasis in animal science and horticulture. General rule of thumb, fruits grow on the plant and vegetables are the plant. Bell peppers. Whoa, take fruit. it easy with the finger. That's right in my face. Fruit. Um, James, I'm gonna ring for you. Number one, because yep. you're awesome. Number two, because I was right. Number Knowledge three, is knowing that. No, no, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put tomato in a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys are correct, and I appreciate the study. And by you, you mean me. And by me, I mean me and James. James, thank you. Yeah, that's what I said. Exactly. Here we go. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, dude, uh, Thibodeau says, Nate, um, you look like my brother. I hate my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that breakfast looks amazing, though. So, uh, so hi, and you got a new sub here. Uh, LOL. Thank you, boss. Good job. Okay. So I obviously stole this from your channel. Maybe your I page, can help you repair but, your relationship with your brother. But that probably <laughs> not. Uh, so, hey, dude. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you, buddy. Oh, dang, two yeah. for two for you. Okay. This one uh, also comes from your page. It's both spicy and nice. <laughs> Tony says, recipe great, presentation style annoying. Not being disrespect, <laughs> not <laughs> being disrespectful, just honest. And the old one-two punch right underneath it, Brian says, I've never seen Chef Nate make anything that wasn't restaurant quality. Excellent. Oh, thank um, you. Tony, I'm ringing because it was really funny. And Brian, Sucking up to Nate. <laughs> That's go. good. There we go. Uh, em Emily, I believe is how we would say this. New sub here. The more I watch y'all, the more I think CJ is my long lost relative. I've, <laughs> I've newly started liking mustard. I'm not a fan of seafood. We had the same pop socket. It's uncanny. We just bought, uh, oh dang it, I screenshot it. She says, uh, we just bought a new Blackstone and I'm a subscriber and thanks for hanging out. CJ, you're amazing and Nate, you're a giant tool. No. Nope. Yep, that's that's totally what, what what she said. I think you made the last part up. <laughs> this is a, so I'm gonna ring to those guys real quick. For all of yous. For all of yous. Timothy Rogers. Funny how Nate will interrupt with some kind of culinary mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. Hey, you don't believe in all this cold fusion mumbo jumbo, do you? Thank you. But, to uh, but totally lets you crash and burn before helping you out. What a jerk. 
No. Love the show. Timothy, you get your own no. solitary room. Ah. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? Yeah, uh, you don't uh, believe in any of this uh, uh, cold fusion mumbo, mumbo jumbo, mumbo do, jumbo, you? do you? Oh, here we go. Vincent says, you're killing it, bro. Please put me on the positive side of the comments. Well, here you are. Welcome. Vincent, welcome. Welcome to the positive side of the comments. Nay, CJ, you are the king of the post dust. Oh, true. Why, thank you, Nay. You're so fantastic. He is the prince of post dusting. All right, and then this is a good one. I think I think this is wrapping us up. Big D sa says, just love it, exclamation points. CJ, you the man. After Todd, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We got a ring for Todd. Big D. Todd Tobin. Todd Tobin. The OG. Oh, oh, ringing oh. it for ringing it for the OG gangster of love on the griddle. Guys, that wraps up CJ's favorite comments of the week, and that also wraps up CJ's first cooking show. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification so you can get uh, emails and text messages and like snail mail. And somebody will knock on your door, try to sell you a subscription <laughs> in magazines, door door. but also let you know that there's a new. CJ's First Cooking Show available. Hey, perhaps you'd like to subscribe to a CJ's First Cooking Show? <laughs> perhaps. Also, be sure you get to check out Nate's show, check out Betty's show, check out Todd's show. All of them are fun and unique in their own ways. But this, my friends, is CJ's First Cooking Show, where Ethan, we cook. And we quote. Oh! Yes, we do, so I'm gonna ring it out. You know what, Ethan? You've never got a chance to what? ring the bell. Finally. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is sacred. You do not mess with this. This is family. <laughs> Ring it if the you bell? mean it. Ring it if you mean it. Okay. All right, E. Whoa! Jeez. Jeez. Never again. Get out of here. What? Huh? What was that? I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I've been physically abused in the ear. What? Hey, can we get can we get rid of him? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining the show. I hope your eardrums aren't busted like mine are. I guess. Yes. Party on, Garth. I guess. So